Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Black Ops 6 is missing from the list of installed games. So if you don't see the game over here on Xbox app, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, go to my library. And when you go to the library over here, put a check on installed option. And if you see the game over here, if it is installed, then you can launch the game from here. You just click on the game and then launch the game. Now, if you don't see the game in installed, in that case, you can go to Microsoft Store. Now, once you go to Microsoft Store, bottom left here, you can see download option. You can go to downloads. In my case, the game is still downloading. I am reinstalling the game. Now, you can find the game in the list. Now, once you find the game, and then you can launch the game from here. You can even go to library. And if you find the game in library, then in that case, you can launch the game from library and then you can check. So if you find the game in the list, you can find the game and then check. Now still not working in that case, the login with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So go to Microsoft Store, top right, click on the profile icon, click on sign out and then click on sign in and select the right account which has the game pass. So make sure that you select the right account then enter your pin or password over here. Now once logged in, now go to Xbox app and then click on the profile icon, click on sign out and then go to sign in option. Again, click on sign in and select the same account which you have selected on Microsoft Store. You have to log in with same account over here. And once logged in, now you can check. Still missing. In that case, please go to Xbox app and then click on the profile icon, then go to support and then click on gaming services repair tool, click on start repairing, click on yes to allow. And once this is, this process will take some time. Once this is done, you can close the Xbox app and then open Xbox app once again, and then check still not working. Then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to repair or reset Xbox app. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings or you can simply open windows 11 or windows 10 settings and then go to apps go to install apps in windows 11 in windows 10 you will see apps and features so go to apps and features or install apps in windows 11 over here find xbox app in the list in the search box you can type in xbox app Now over here you can see Xbox app in Windows 10 simply click on Xbox app and then you will see advanced option in Windows 11 click on these three dots and go to advanced option. Now scroll down over here you can see the repair option click on repair. Now once the repair is done you can try to open Xbox app still you're facing the problem then click on reset reset. And once the reset is done, you can try to open Xbox app. But still you're facing the problem, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. Not store, but Xbox app. So, again go to Windows settings, then go to apps, install apps or apps and features, and find Xbox app in the list. Now, in Windows 11, click on these three dots. In Windows 10, simply click on it, and then you will see uninstall option. Click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once this is uninstalled, now you can reinstall the Xbox app from Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer, and in the search box, type in Xbox app. And then you can install the Xbox app once again. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Once done, you can try to open Xbox app. Still you're facing the problem in that case, you can update Xbox app from store library. Now open Microsoft store on your computer. Now, once you open Microsoft store on the 
bottom left over here you can see library options so click on library and over here you will see an option which says get updates so or you can scroll down and find xbox app if you find xbox app if you see the update option click on update so click on get updates over here once it is updated once all the apps are updated you can launch xbox app still you're facing the problem then uninstall xbox app and install it from xbox website so again you can uninstall it now after you uninstall it go to xbox app website so you can go to google and in google you can type in xbox app and go to xbox website scroll down over here you can see the option which says download the app so click on download the app and run this exe file and you will be able to install xbox app and then try to launch but still you are facing the problem then make sure date time time zone and reason is correct in your windows computer so on the bottom right over here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time now make sure set time automatically is turned on over here so make it this is on also make sure set time zone automatically is also on once both are on you have to click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now if you if it is not sync you can click on sync now multiple times and then once this is sync now go to language and region and make sure right country is selected over here now the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset this will open up this black screen and then it will reopen microsoft store now you can try to open xbox app now next step is to update windows 10 or 11 so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and then open xbox app next step is to install xbox identity provider and gaming services now for this first of all copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see xbox identity provider and click on get installed app and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so open microsoft store and then if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button over here in my case this is already installed so there is no button but in your case if this is not installed you will see install button or get button if you don't see then follow the next step that is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening windows powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the end key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer now once this is uninstalled on the same window copy the second command paste it over here on the same window hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer and it will give you an install option to install gaming services click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete once the gaming services is installed you can try to open xbox app next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list and then make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic click on apply click on start if if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services at the end here you can see all these four xbox services make a double click on each one of them set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok do the same thing over here set it to automatic and then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again automatic apply start and then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic apply 
click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services over here you can see gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running if gaming services are not running make a right click and then stop it again make a right click and then stop it and then again restart the service make a right click and then click on start make a right click and then click on start and then find Microsoft Store install service and then make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on OK, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now, once you start all these services, still you are facing the problem, then run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then again make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Make sure that you, you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then copy this command and then all the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter. Now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color. So when this is happening you might see some errors over here in red color. So if you see any kind of error in red color just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once the process is complete, you will see this screen full of red colors. So you can close this and then restart your computer and then try to open Xbox app. So you will see errors like this in red color. But here you can see process, it is all still running. So once ignore these error messages, once this is complete, then you can restart your computer and then open Xbox app. Next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So type in inetcpl.cpl in Windows search box and then click on inetcpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab. Now scroll down and then over here you can see use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, use TLS 1.2, use TLS 1.3. So make sure all these 1.1, 1.2, 1.2, 1.3 all these, all these four boxes are checked and then click on apply, click on OK, restart your computer and then check. Now, the, if nothing is working, you can update Windows to the latest version using Media Creation Tool. So if nothing is working, you can update your Windows 10 or 11 using Media Creation Tool. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game back. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.